and welcome to the Hebrew Bazaar. Hebrew Bazaar is a way for students to get to explore the Hebrew of the text of whatever unit we're in, but also getting to choose what type of exploration they do, because there's different ways of doing and learning Hebrew. They mean different things for different people. Different students have different interests, so why have everybody do the same thing? That's my philosophy. So there are three different ways to get your Hebrew credit, um, and how many you need to do will save for uh, a separate conversation, but let, suffice it to say that there are numerous ways to do it. Um, and I just want to point out before I jump into that, that uh, every Hebrew bazaar always has this red, let's call it a lozenge, it looks like a lozenge, a lozenge uh, out of which all the different available options emerge with the name of the lozenge here. The ones that are yellow are the ones where there are already activities ready to go. If it's white, it means it has not been set up yet. So um, you can only do the activities that are yellow. I'll also point out that sometimes lozenges have these three little bars or an arrow. If it has three little bars, it means that there's a note, which often will be a link. And if it has an arrow, if you click it, it'll bring you directly to some kind of a, a resource that you might need. One other thing I want to show you is that I've prepared not only this mind map that shows the information in kind of a flowchart form, but also something called a symbolu, where you have the same materials laid out like a uh, iPhone desktop with icons, because some people prefer um, being able to click on icons rather than this sort of model, but uh, it's the same idea. In any case, um, the first activity you can do for the Hebrew Bazaar is called Famous Words. And Famous Words is an exercise where you are learning about the words that appear in the text that are relevant to the text, and also where those words appear in either modern Hebrew, Jewish culture, sometimes tefillah, in other words, Jewish stuff that's outside of the text itself. By learning these uh, connections, I call them mnemonics, uh, it'll help you learn the word, but also make your Jewish uh, understanding and involvement of the language deeper, because you're making connections between the Torah and uh, just general Jewish life. So in every case, um, I have uh, identified the words that you need to know and the mnemonics to learn it, and um, the way that you get the credit for that is by doing a quiz. Now, the precise details about how to do that unit we'll talk about in a more extended video, but basically that is one of your options, is learning a vocabulary and doing a quiz. The next option you have is Milot Mancha. So Milot Mancha, Milot Mancha is a, a repeated word. It's basically a theme, and it's the text's way of teaching you about what the themes of the text are. If you're interested in doing that, then what you would do is fill in a Milot Mancha worksheet, um, which has you uh, find the instances of where the word appears, and then you kind of explore it, and ultimately you end up doing a mini art project, which is a little bit like the Sinai project you did, but it's much more brief. Uh, and again, there'll be a video with more details on that, but uh, that's the basic idea, is that the Milam Ancha um, has you do a, an art project. So we got Famous Words, which is basically a vocab quiz, Mila Mancha, which is basically an art project, and then finally you have Translation. Um, with Translation, you would... Um, let me just open this up. You would take the Hebrew text here, and you would do a translation. You could either print it out and then write your translation here, or you can use online. And you can use all of these resources that I've included... Um, under uh, Useful Hebrew Resources on Symbolu, they're going to be up here, with uh, grammatical charts, with things like uh, tools for translating Hebrew, where I give you suffixes and prefixes to help you figure out words. And ultimately, the final step in that would be a quiz, where I give you the Hebrew phrase, and you can use your own translation to tell me which of the following are correct. Um, I'll, I'll give you more information on how to do that. Um, so back to the summary, you have famous words, which is vocabulary, which is exploring words and then doing a mini art project, and translation, which is translation. Um, different different uh, projects, sometimes uh, I'll allow a student to do, if it's taking a really long time, you might only do that one, as opposed to doing two of them. It all depends on what everybody's pace is. So the exact number we'll kind of talk about in class. But different ways of doing Hebrew, that is the Hebrew Bazaar.